Hello, and welcome to another almighty allhiphop.com production. My name is Rick Rizal. Today we interview Waruche Opia and Jamie Lawson, who play Coretta Scott King and Dr. Betty Shabazz in the National Geographic limited series Genius MLK X. Now, Jamie, the chemistry between you and Aaron Pierre, who plays Mappa Max, was very tender and discernibly genuine. Ooh. Do you have any connection with Aaron prior to this film, or was that chemistry just developed on set? No, it was developed on set. Unfortunately, we didn't get the opportunity to meet prior to. We had tried... Um, uh, we had tried to schedule a Zoom, or try to, but it just, the opportunity didn't present itself until we got there. And it's so funny because I remember when I first met him, his stature precedes him, mm. right? And so that you see this brolic individual and you think whatever you assume might come with that. And I remember meeting him and I go to hug him and he just gives me the most gentle pat. <laughs> and I said, who is this? Right? He's like a big friendly giant. Yes, yeah, he truly BFG. is. Yeah. Um, and so it, immediately there was just an ease. There was a comfort. Um, there was space made that we made for each other and very early on we talked about how to develop this chemistry because we want to honor their love right um and and aaron speaks on this quite often but a, a mistruth about malcolm was that he was an advocate for violence and in that we completely eradicate any notion of how he loved mm -hmm. his wife, mm -hmm. how he loved his his children, how he loved his community, right? Mm -hmm. And so even on that aspect of building their chemistry um, and with their, their religion, right, their faith, they couldn't um, partake in physical touch. So everything had to be communicated with the eyes. And so we invested very early on, how do we court each other with our eyes? How do we build that chemistry and that tension? So that way, when they do touch, it just feels like they just melt into each other. Um, so that was fun. That was really fun to craft with him. It's funny, actually, the both of you as Jamie and Aaron are very, you have a tenderness yeah. to you, the both of you. And Malcolm and Betty yeah. also have that tenderness. So it's very lovely to it watch. Is. It's just, ooh. I enjoy that. I would watch and I go. Is that British oh. right there? Is that a British thing? I, I think it's just me. I just think it's me. It's, when, but what did I do? I do. It's just, <laughs> I love it. It's just, ooh. Yes. <laughs> now, um, uh, the witty, playful banter that you exchanged with yes. Kelvin Harrison, yes. who played Martin Luther King, seemed so appropriate and genuine. Uh, indeed, like a game of cat and mouse, except he didn't realize that he was the mouse. Uh, he just didn't realize. <laughs> oh, I love oh yeah. I love that. Yeah. Could you he put didn't that realize interaction he was into words, it. please? That's so good. That's mm. so good. It was, um, do you know what? It's crazy because it's, it's, what was the question? <laughs> to describe your interactions with Kelvin Harrison as he was playing MLK, because it was like a game of cat and mouse, except yeah. he didn't realize that he was the mouse yeah. and you were the cat. You know the pretty, the 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 witty playfulness, mm, yeah. uh, the way that he tried to intellectualize, and you just intellectualize on top of him, yeah, 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 intellectualism, yeah. and like you didn't put him in his place, but you made clear that your place was as his equal. Mm -hmm, as mm -hmm. his Do you know what? It's the beauty of the black woman. Hello. Hello. That's kind of it, you yeah. know. Black women are intelligent emotionally. Um, mind intelligence. I don't know if that's a word. <laughs> <laughs> Just generally intelligent. And I think it was so beautiful to play it, mm. to enjoy it, to watch it, mm -hmm. engage in it. And I think one thing I really loved about um, what I believe Betty and Martin, and Betty and Martin, I'm just so... <laughs> Okay, Coretta and <laughs> I'm gonna get in trouble. <laughs> Coretta and Martin, I think they were friends. I think yes. they were best friends. Um, I think they both had the same understanding of life. They had the same beliefs. 
they both knew where they were going and there was just an understanding between i think there was a mutual respect Mm -hmm. um a word that's been coming uh, a phrase equally yoked Mm -hmm. i think they were both equally yoked and they understood the assignment Mm -hmm. um and i'm very glad that um my martin was is kelvin uh, before we met, he called me while I was in London and because he asked his team had asked my team and I was like, OK, this is I really, am, you know, I was quite happy because I was like, it's nice to have a chat before we actually met. And we were on the phone laughing for two hours mm. talking about everything and nothing at the same time. And I remember getting off the phone and being like, OK, I'm yeah. good because this man had to play my husband for the next five months. Yep. And he's he's a good man, do you know mm-hmm. what I mean? And so we had that friendship on and off set, and I think we can see that because we, you know, we both were able to give each other a safe space. Mm-hmm. And uh, Calvin and I also also decided that we were going to show how regular these two people were. They're just two people in love on a mission, trying to live their lives and do what God has called them to do, yeah. which is very similar to our lives, you know, in the sense that we're just here trying to do what God, God has called us to right. do. And so we try to, you know, show that through our portrayal of them and hope that we did that. You did. Yeah. It made for really special moments watching it, really. Mm. And you just go, yeah. I know those people. Yes. Yeah. Uh, you do. You you do come off, but you make the the viewer feel very uh, uh, familiar. Yeah. With you. You, like, yeah. You, you feel like we feel like we know you. Mm-hmm. Um, they're they're cueing me to kind of wrap it up. And oh, don't go. Are, <laughs> oh. But uh, since we are all hip hop, I have to ask you: uh, Are you hip hop fans? Are you listening to? Uh, or do you have a favorite? And if you have a favorite and you know a lyric, could you flow the lyric? Oh, what you want to do? Want to be ballers? Listen, let me not get into it because I'm about to embarrass yo, yo, myself. Yo, spit that, spit that, yo. I got the beat. <laughs> No, we ain't doing it. We ain't doing it. I'm, 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 I'm just too cute for that today. That's funny. Okay, you too cute for hip hop today? Okay. <laughs> That's funny. You got some? Oh yes. I mean, Lauren Hill came first to mind, um, and the lyric that um, I'm not singing it. Why is it all? Go ahead. Gotta be. Oh, so simple. Why? But you make it hard. But you make it hard. Yes. Go ahead, girl. X Factor. Yes. Reciprocity. See, no one loves you more than me, and no one ever will. I got it. you can see to let you go. It ain't. I don't know the rest of the words. Oh, so okay, y'all got it. That was beautiful.